Can you have too much of a good thing? The answer is yes. Yes, you definitely can. Hello, J244 here, and welcome back to another video where I decide to go off on way too many tangents to fit into one title card on Microsoft Phone. So, today we're discussing Dragons, the Nine Realms, a new trailer for which dropped this week, Wednesday. Now, considering I broke down the first trailer, you may be asking, yo, where's the breakdown? The answer is, it isn't coming, and I'll explain why in a moment, but first we have to discuss money grabs. A money grab is when a large corporation slash movie company creates a new line of toys or movies based on one concept or idea with the premise that people will buy this product simply to add to their collection or because it comes under this concept or idea. Uh, many money grabs tend to lack the quality of their predecessors, which weren't necessarily jabs for money, while others have true passion put into them and are an effort to really continue the story. A good example of a money grab would be the sequel trilogy in Star Wars. One of the great things about writing a story is that you can inspire people to come up with their own endings, their own stories, their own understandings, or, as the Dream SMP community calls them, their own headcanons, um, thus allowing them to allude to the wonder and mystery and true size of the universe in which a movie or TV series or book takes place. However, adding to the end of a series simply for the means of money often results in something that is less than well received by fans. <laughs> and don't even get me started on the money grabs that are just, they're, they're just dumb. WHAT THE HELL IS EVEN THAT?! So, Dragons, the Nine Realms, is it a money grab? The answer is yes. Yes, it definitely is. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm excited to see what the creators of this show have done to expand our view of the How to Trade Your Dragon universe, but... The last installment that was supposed to be leaked to the main timeline wasn't the best, and my hopes aren't high. How to Train Your Dragon in the Modern World is a cool concept that lots of people have explored in their own works. This isn't really something that should be done, in my opinion. The idea with How to Train Your Dragon is that the dragons could have existed, and putting them in the modern world simply downright slams them into fantasy, as with modern science, no, they could not have existed, and it's not really sensible for us to try and hope, considering, yeah. Dragons exist as a metaphor for power. Power, in the wrong hands, can commit atrocities, <coughs> Drago, <coughs> but in the righteous, it can do wonderful things. But perhaps sometimes it is best to simply let an item of power go and let the world be all the better for it. This is the plot of How to Train Your Dragon 3, apart from a couple of other things on the side, like the Light Fury. Um, but bringing the dragons back into the modern world, the power becomes very, very different. <clears throat> anyway, my point is, the show's not necessary. And it's not likely that fans are going to enjoy it. Sure, the concept is cool and effort might have been put into it, but it very much lacks the vibe that those original movies and TV shows inspired in me. You know, excitement, wonder, a world full of possibilities, secrets, hidden worlds, if you will. And in our modern world, many of these have been discovered. You put the dragons in, there go the secrets, there goes the mystery, there goes the wonder. Dragons the Nine Realms is unlikely to be a good show, from my point of view. And, you know, I've loved, I love this franchise, I love these books, but I love the books, I love the films, you know, anything related to this franchise, I absolutely love. But if it's a money grab, I'm less likely to enjoy it. There's no power in this in this animation. You you don't see the same thing that we saw in those original movies and TV shows. The animation just isn't as good as what we've seen before. It's a money grab. So, should you watch it? I intend to, which unfortunately is me playing right into DreamWorks' hands. But I still want to see what will happen, which is the premise for money grabs. You want to find out, don't you? No, I don't, well, I mean, yes, I do, but is it, is it really necessary? By all means, watch the show, but if you don't like it, well, yeah, you can most definitely have too much of a good thing.